today people are looking for cars that are fuel efficient and yet they still do what they want to do. Things like fuel economy, things like comfort, things like storage capacity. Can they still carry my grandma, my family, my children? And today we bring a car that is uniquely able to do all those things. And this is the Nissan Magnite. It has all these toys like LED lights, daytime running lights, LED headlights, high beam and low beam. It's got um, two airbags for the driver and passenger. And it's pretty packed. I love the fact that it's not just fully white, for example. It's got the two-tone, which is the... Uh, the black on the top and the white on the lower side, which gives it that edge of a feeling of a European car. Why am I getting out of the frame? <laughs> now, I love the fact that it's got, the, it's got a cruise on top of the roof, which gives it that um, aerodynamic kind of shape. So you have minimal wind noise, but also very, very, fuel e very, very good fuel economy. I love the fuel economy of this car and I have been literally surprised after driving it for some time I have been surprised by how much power is released from this 1.0 three cylinder engine can you imagine and yet it's not even set up longitudinal it's set up transverse it's a two-wheel drive and this car is fit for Anybody who really just enjoys town service and once in a while would like to go maybe to 30 kilometers out of the city or 50, whatever, it could take you up country, yes, but um, it's pretty cool for town service and it loves it because it really sips on fuel. It doesn't drink, it sips, literally. It's very comfortable, surprisingly, and I love the ground clearance, I love the overhang for the front and the back and the rear so you don't have issues of um, falling into trenches and you get stuck. The Nissan Magnite is based on Nissan CMF A Plus platform and was rolled out to buyers from 2021. It's assembled in India and different models and trims supplied globally. The Magnite is equipped with a 999cc or rounded off to one liter three-cylinder turbo engine that puts out 74 kilowatts of power. If you convert that, it, it becomes 99 horsepower and 150 newton meters of torque. It's claimed to provide an average fuel economy of six liters per 100 kilometers. Now, this car has a top speed of 168 kilometers per hour, but in this video, we will not be testing that. This is also assisted by an Xtronic CVT gearbox, which gives you the right ratio at the right time. This engine can also be found in some Renault cars. So this car has been generously lent to us by Blue Cruise. Blue Cruise is located on Plot 55B Upper Colorado Terrace. All they do is provide transport services to anybody. So check them out. If you want to do an airport drop up, the drop drop off, an airport pickup, if you want to travel out of the, not country, but out of the city, check them out. If you need to do just some city, citywide transportation, check them out. Thank you, Blue Cruise. Let's talk about the interior quickly about the, of the Nissan Magnite. Um, if I'm looking for a comfortable you know, sitting position, um, I think it will work for anybody of any height. Um, let me see. Yes, what I was looking for is actually possible. So if you're tall, you can also adjust the height of the seat so that your head doesn't um, tap the... But I like, I always like mine to be up because I love to feel like I own the road. Now, this sitting position is very comfortable for anybody of any height. Uh, some models I have seen have wireless charging here where you just put your phone here and it charges wirelessly but somehow this doesn't. I don't know whether any there's any grade that comes into Uganda that has that uh, option. Um, this space is for the cup holders and it's fairly okay but also yeah if you have your device you could easily just put it right there. The space here is also for things like parking receipts there's also a usb port here and a socket for 
charging your devices as well. The, the position for this is pretty cool. Um, this, the, the way this is set up feels a little bit, a little bit spacious. It's, it's like there's a lot of room in there. But, um, well, that's how Nissan decided to do it. They created a sort of chromey feel to the start-stop button, which gives it a nice aesthetic while driving it and also the aesthetic that is on the dashboard which gives it's sort of like honeycombs yeah i love the infotainment system as well because i can connect my android device or iphone and it works perfectly it also has the camera which is a 360 degree but that is on this um a center plus model which has um, also added things like uh, voice commands which work with the infotainment system the microphone is right up here and then also cruise control cruise control guys that's pretty awesome and um the door lock i think i've talked about it already it's in a weird location but it passes this gives you an assumption that you can actually open it but i have failed to open it i don't think it opens <laughs> i love the handbrake position as well um you know these days we have a lot of electronic handbrakes but this makes it easier to service at any point any time um, any mechanic should be able to service this handbrake the glove box is humongous it's like they knew that the ugandans who are going to buy this car will be able to keep their things in their like backpacks handbags so for example if i could borrow this handbag of a lady it's easy to just throw in there and hide uh, so in case anybody jumps into your car it's not easy for them to just find your handbag all over sitting all over the place in the back it actually feels great and another selling point for me most of the time is if a car is able to give me ac in the rear and this actually gives me ac in the rear look at these little vents so cool and of course uh, i'm 180 centimeters tall and yeah i'm quite comfortable here this seat is in my driving position the most farthest position but it should be comfortable and also the seats are not so upright so they're nicely comfortable my seats are not i'm not like squatting because the floor is also really low and that's the first thing you also feel when you get into the car you you feel like you're sitting high and then your legs go all the way down so it feels like a, a hatchback that was sort of given a lift so that you can sit nicely down right and yeah you've got pockets here if you want to keep your newspapers um because i believe also organizations and companies easily buy these cars and use them for transportation of their staff or for business or for hire so you find that somebody might want to put their ipad their newspaper things like that and also it could easily sit three people i'm saying that because there's no hump here in the middle that someone will have to sort of sit like that it's just nicely comfortable for three and i don't know about that for a long journey but for town service because i believe this car does town would be good for town this would work when i sat in the nissan magnite i felt the vibe of a european car because it has those little bells and whistles that you usually find in cars that you buy from europe and one car that comes to mind easily is the Audi Q3. This car gives you that vibe of a lifted hatchback, a nice compact hatchback that has probably got some gumboots and gives it a nice compact SUV name. It's got that nice feeling fabric on the doors and nice feeling fabric on the seats as well. And I believe this car would be great also for ladies and gentlemen as well because it's got a number of seating positions that make it comfortable for any person to drive comfortably. And of course, it allows you to see the road much more easily. You can't doubt that this car has got a great storage capacity in the cabin and also for the boot which is 336 liters and probably that should be able to cater for three to four large suitcases from the airport or just for a basic simple travel
driving this car on bumpy roads is effortless because it's of course um, a raised car it has uh, 205 millimeters of ground clearance just to bring it back home it's 20.5 centimeters of, of ground clearance which is good enough because i know for example that when you bring in say a toyota fielder the ground clearance is about half that so that's pretty 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 impressive now i'll be honest with you when i heard that this car is a one liter turbo i was a little disappointed because it felt i i knew because you know i've driven a, a one liter natural naturally aspirated engine and to be honest it's really weak it has no power but this is turbocharged and it just demystifies and nullifies all those ideologies of a one liter engine being weak and powerless maybe but for town kind of service this car does perfectly well and remember a one liter engine is really small and to make it even more smaller this engine is a three cylinder engine so there's that little shake that um, you feel and you can also see the exhaust shaking um, when you similar to the Toyota Paso so if you can live with that that's okay but you see nissan was also very very specific in a way that they um worked out the the, the noise cancelling so you don't exactly feel that noise even when you're driving this car because they added some um noise cancellation um padding up here on the doors but also somewhere on the sides so you don't necessarily feel like the car is noisy. it's actually really pretty nice Inside. And now the steering wheel for this uh, Nissan Magnite is it's electronic so it's very soft. When you're driving this car you feel um, there's something about it you know. Have you ever seen these beautiful women like my wife for example? There's a way like when she puts on um, say fancy nail polish and fancy lipstick. That's the first thing you see. Now when you drive this car that's the first thing you see. You see a beautiful face. I feel like the people who designed the front were a little <laughs> on a different department from the people who designed the back. But it doesn't mean the back looks any bad, any worse. But the front is so eye-catching with those nice. So it's got it's got those boomerang um, LED daytime running lights, which look really really cool when parked when it's moving and the lights are also led one of the things i want to do today is to test out the pulling power of this car um, because this turbocharger is so efficient it gives you that lock that's car play <laughs> this i know people have talked about how this cvt gearbox now this um it's the, the grade we have is the cvt of course um you can get it of course with the manual transmission but i personally prefer this cvt um, especially for our city because yeah imagine a one liter engine uh, you're always fighting with gears it's i guess it will always be more comfortable just having the car do the work for you especially if you're driving such a car around the city meaning you're going to face a lot of traffic jam and things like that and but the driving impression on this car is very very pleasant this car has a starting price of $30,000 and the spec we have is the Ascenta Plus. It has an automatic transmission that's a CVT gearbox. It's got the parking assist, the 360 degree camera. It's got, um, of course, electric windows, parking sensors. It's pretty fully loaded, you can say. It's got fog lights and it feels... It, it feels really great driving this car. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like there's no noise coming from here. So let me just compare with that. Uh, no, no, no. This is now. This is this is claw open, and the windows. The driver's window is the only one that's that's um, automatic. This is very good. This is very good. I felt a little jacking of the gearbox, but I guess it was trying to figure out what speed I was on. 
this is already 60 kilometers per hour. This is a one liter engine vehicle, and yet it performs so, so brilliantly. And on top of that, it sort of follows up the bumps. And the first time I sat in this car, it felt honestly really light. And I was a little concerned, but when you drive it, it feels <laughs> honestly totally different because it's so comfortable. Um, I also thought probably a long journey would feel uncomfortable, but it's doing brilliant. Now let's go to the things I don't, I personally don't like about this as uh, Nissan Magnite a center plus. The first and foremost, the brake pedal is too narrow. So some, it feels like you could easily miss the, the brake pedal and step on the accelerator because it's really narrow, you know, especially for automatic uh, transmission. It feels like they use the same brake pedal for the manual version on this automatic. So the brake pedal is narrow. And so you could easily miss it if you have shoes that are not uh, rubber enough. And the other thing I notice, of course, the door locking thing is weirdly located. So sometimes you could easily forget. Maybe if you install one of one of those camera, the, you know, alarm systems which lock the car when you sit inside and you start moving, maybe that could help. Even when the car is parked, the steering wheel sometimes moves a little, like it's turning the wheels actually. Uh, it feels like it, the, the electronic, um, whatever rack, has a little bit of allowance for that. Maybe it's engineering, it's an engineer, engineer like that to make it easy to service. I don't know. On a wet muddy day, you'll definitely get your fingers dirty trying to open that boot door. I feel like I feel like it might be easy to rob this car because of these locking things. I don't know what they call them. They they don't go all the way in. They just go down a little bit. So if I press this, they stop there. Okay. So if somebody, for example, just the key fob gives you the impression that you can open the door without pressing that button, but you just cannot. You still have to press the button on the door handle to unlock and unlock the doors. The things I like, um, the digital instrument cluster is pretty cool. Uh, makes me feel like I'm driving a, a small little um, race car on my video game. Uh, it shows me the speed digitally, it shows me my rev my rev counter, it's also digital, it shows the temperature, which is also digital. I love the low end torque because I just give the car a little bit of acceleration and it's pulling. That's just something you find on diesel engines, but this does it brilliantly. I know the VW engines also have those small engines, the one liter and the 1.2 liter, and they also do it brilliantly, but this Nissan is actually brilliantly doing it and say I chose to just flow it now, it just pulls like it's actually a 1.5 liter. I don't feel like the power is um, cheated. You're compromised with this one liter engine. And yet this car, I need to figure out the weight of this car because this is really good. This is really good. Well done, Nissan. The extra plastic cladding over the wheel arches and on the bumpers gives you the confidence that you probably might survive being touched by some motorbike tires or just some rough driving. SC controls are also fairly easy to use and their the quality is not bad. Um, the intuition, the way you use them is interesting, feels a little bit dated, but um, it's nicely digital when you turn it on here. You can easily adjust the temperature The only challenge I found is that I can't for example close these vents and only use my vents Or oh, maybe you can Oh, you can actually when you turn it This way. Yeah, you can when you turn it this way. I figured it out. You can close them like that I love the sound of the infotainment system actually the radio sounds awesome and you can adjust the bass and what you know I'm a sound person. I love music and sound so if a car has really great speakers that's a very good selling point for me uh, it means that i can easily listen to my music i could easily listen to podcasts without having the feeling like i'm listening to a little tiny radio that i used to listen to 10 15 years ago 
Okay. So, should you buy the Nissan Magnite? Well, this car starts from $29,500. That's about $30,000. Um, it comes with a three-year warranty or a hand, over 150,000 kilometers and a free service for 50,000 kilometers, which is a very, very good offer from Nissan Uganda, which is very good. Um, it's comfortable. It's pretty nice to live in, to drive. Um, there are some alternatives also within that range of $30,000. However, if you're looking for something that is already covered under warranty, something that's comfortable, something that's easy to drive and very, very fuel economical, this is a good buy, the Nissan Magnite. Thanks guys for watching. If you are here for the first time, subscribe, share this video with a friend.